Hi guys, Debbie, and I am going to do a, a board painting using acrylics, and um, I've mixed them up with a pouring medium. And from my experience, I, I don't feel it matters a whole lot which pouring medium you use. But I, I'm always switching around Liquitex Golden. I use Floetrol. I've kind of used them all, and um, Mod Podge. Um, trying to think what else, but. It doesn't really matter to I don't feel it matters a whole lot but as you develop your own technique you may settle in on just uh, one or two of those that you like the best I have been using all of those and um, in fact you could even make your own Mod Podge and mix it up or to do to do this type of painting so um, sorry, I got here. I was trying to... anyways um I have a 10 by 10 canvas here and that's what we're going to do today. I have my paints all mixed up. And um, with all of them, they have a little silicone in there, which I believe silicone is the biggest um, reason that you get some pretty good effects. And anyways, I have them. Um, in fact, some of it could have settled out. And if you're ever worried about it settling it out as you're pouring them into your cup, if you think maybe too much could have come out, you can just give a little squirt at that point. So, all right. Okay, so um, let's get started. I got my paper towels over here. Very important. I need a lot of them. <laughs> I'm going to take stock in that. <laughs> Anyways, okay. So, and of course, I got the canvas in my way to move a few things out of the way here. So we can bring it down. Okay? All right. Oops. <laughs> there we go. Let's get this over here so we can. Well, it's going to fall out of there. I apologize. There we go. Try to keep it. There we go. Sorry. Anyways, I have everything all mixed up, ready to go, so I don't bore you with all that. Or maybe you like to see that you have to watch somebody else, but I'm, I already told you what I kind of do. All right? So I have my pouring cup here, and I have one of them that is um, this pink, and this black is Create Tex, so which is an airbrush paint, which is very nice because if you don't want to mix it up, you can just pour it in there and put a little silicone in there, and it's ready to go. Quick way to paint, um, but it's very strong. It's a very strong painting, so you may want to use it with some other paints. All right. Okay. So. Um, I'm going to start this one off with red. Make sure you can see it real well. Okay. Okay. Red. And I'm finishing up a, just a little bit of purple. Red, purple, yellow. I just mix up a whole bunch of colors so I never know exactly what I want to paint. And I, I've mentioned in other videos that I, you know, I just give them a squirt of water. If um, I don't use them all up and I might use them in the next day or so, I give them a little squirt of water and cover them with a plastic bag, a little baggie. So, well, that's blue. This blue and this purple are very similar. I'm going to try to keep this one low. Oh, yeah, let's use a little touch of this black. Okay, this black goes a long way, so I probably put too much in. Ugh. Oh, well. I already see some orange forming in there. I guess this one's hopefully going to mainly be red. So, mm. we'll do a touch of the, oh, you know, what I was explaining to you is if you're not sure, we'll put a little bit of that in there, and that'll give you a nice little batch of cells. Let's see, just now it probably all went throughout. Um... Oh, the only thing is I don't like spraying it when I'm working. And then you smell it. All right, I'm going to give a little white and top it off with white. 
There we go. Okay, get these out of the way. I'm pretty good at spilling these. Anyways. Oh boy. Apologize for this. I gotta put on a pair of gloves. Should keep my gloves right here. You can only put so much on your table though. Alright. Gloves. Here we go. Okay, now I'm ready. All right. Nope. So, um, it's got a kind of cool design already going. <laughs> if it didn't, I shouldn't have put all those squiggles in there. Anyways, we'll, um, I'm going to try not to lose my design. So I'm trying to bring it back. In fact, kind of to this point, not too sure what I want to do, but I don't want to lose, I don't want it to, um, Hmm. Scrape up some of these colors. Okay. Bought a new heat gun. My old one still works. It's a craft one, but I kind of... I used to love using my... Um, my my one that you know is for um, tool working. I don't know, guys using the garage. You can pick them up very fairly cheap. Anyways, um, I kind of missed that one, so I, I'm not sure what happened to it. Maybe it died, and I don't remember that. Oh, look at we got one little blue cell popping up over here. Can you see that? All right. All my wiggling it around, I kind of lost what was originally there. So, I like to get some of the paint off because I literally have poured quite a bit of paint on there, and so I kind of like to get some of that off. My board looks pretty cool, too. <laughs> Let's see, I'm going to set that like that. Yeah, maybe not. Okay. All right, so now we're going to try the new heat gun. we got a lot of cells popping up all over the place. And here, over here, you can see them all. You can see them starting to come to the surface and popping up popping through. So let's let's give the new heat gun a shot. I'm already got paint on it now that I've just picked it up. <laughs> okay. I'm just waiting for it to get hot enough. The difference between this and using a torch, you gotta wait a couple seconds. You can see how hot this one gets. It gets much harder than my craft one. I kind of like it a little better for this. So my recommendation would be to buy the kind you to buy at Home Depot or somewhere like that. Or you probably have one in your garage. Okay, that's enough. That's probably way too much. 
only because I don't like too many. It's loaded with cells right now. Ugh. Okay, I want to show you guys this up close. all over the place but see all the cells on there it's loaded yeah it's pretty loaded it's almost too busy so I'm gonna try to leave this one alone for a little bit and while it's sitting there um, although I do feel it is kind of busy and there's part of me that right now wants to tone it down just a little bit by Maybe pouring some more in there. Uh, let's see. No, I think I'm just going to leave it alone for right now. Anyways, guys, thank you for stopping by.